I knew that I was going to become a scientist when I was about five. My older sister used to watch science fiction theater in the afternoon, and I watched it with her. Hi, sorry I'm a little bit late. Music is a little bit like astronomy in the sense that one does not have to know much about music or know much about astronomy to appreciate it. There's an immediate impact of a beautiful piece of music, or if you see something beautiful in the sky, you're drawn to that. When retirement started to approach, I decided this is the time. I'd have to say that a lot of my friends have really enjoyed my piano because I'm so proud of it. I want them to come over and see it. The sound is so clear, there's no two ways around it. Um, it makes my job so easy, so enjoyable and rewarding. Putting the intervals together, that, and then when you play as well, I can hear it. I'm very lucky with the people in the house that's actually attached to mine. Their little three-year-old you know, is absolutely fascinated with the piano. If Tom brings his piano around, <laughs> then he can teach me how to play. There we go, now. Such technique. You have more stage presence than I do. And you enjoy playing in front of people. I get all nervous playing in front of people. The builder, who's become a great friend of mine, did say that he did realize that the renovation was all about the piano and nothing else. So I had this door installed so that we could get the piano in easily. I put a great value on the celebration of connections. One of them is our connection with the universe. As a lot of people now know that our blood is red because of the iron that was made in an exploding star or a group of, of exploding stars. So we're children of the stars and I think that's pretty amazing once you get used to that connection. I had a lot of great personal connections even involved in the selection of this instrument. I had the rare opportunity to go to the factory, which was an incredibly special treat. John went with me. We got to Hamburg early afternoon, so we had a nice time. Uh, Maura flew over. They explained to us a lot of aspects of the way the piano w was built that really fascinated me. Like the B, for instance, is the smallest of the pianos that have a continuous bridge. Just, it's a one-piece bridge. We saw how the crown is made. I had a, some nerve problems a few years ago, and I had to have surgery, and I asked the surgeon if I'd ever be able to play. He said no. I was heartbroken. So. But I have to say that the size of the room doesn't affect the fact that this is an absolutely gorgeous piano and it's the, exactly the right instrument to have in this room. The sound is just totally, totally incredible and it gives me so much joy to listen to it. Sometimes, particularly whenever I warm up, I always play really slowly because I like to listen to the, how the notes bloom. It, and a piano of lesser quality, it just doesn't do that. It's just, it's such a sensual pleasure to to just hear the sound develop and, and appreciate each little note. It just is an absolutely exciting, astounding experience. <laughs>